Thank you, Mary D, and hello, everyone. My name is Gillian McCann, and I'm the CTO at WorkGrid Software. WorkGrid is a conversational AI work assistant that enables employees to access information and complete tasks across various systems, documents, and knowledge bases through our user-friendly conversational interface. Today, I'm here to explore how conversational AI can improve the search experience and what the future holds with regards to AI-enabled knowledge retrieval. We will explore the advantages of conversational AI compared to traditional search methods. And additionally, we will discuss the various technologies that can be used to improve AI-enabled knowledge retrieval and the benefits that that offers to users. And then we will provide a live demonstration of a few of these technologies in action. And this will allow you to see firsthand how they optimize the experience. Let's jump in. Unfortunately, many employees encounter what we call digital friction. Digital friction is commonly described as the unnecessary effort an employee has to exert to use technology. And this includes extra steps to complete routine tasks, having to toggle between disparate applications to find information, and complicated workflows that take time away from meaningful work. When it comes to knowledge retrieval, digital friction is a real problem. The issue at hand is the scattered nature of information across various applications within the business. And this creates obstacles for employees who need to quickly and accurately locate the right information from knowledge bases, to content systems, to emails, to conversations in platforms like Slack and Teams, and even in our HR, IT or sales products, information is spread out in silos. Each information has its own search functionality, often relying on traditional keyword based indexing. But even if more advanced semantic search techniques are being employed, the employee still needs to know which system to search in. And this results in wasted time sifting through irrelevant search results and multiple clicks to find what they're looking for. The difficulties in finding accurate and up-to-date information contribute to information overload and relevance issues. And there's no way currently to review results across multiple documents and knowledge sources simultaneously. And as a result, the employee loses productive hours each day and struggles to make timely decisions. These challenges not only impact pro employee productivity, but also have implications to the business, including poor decision making, higher operational costs and lost revenue, to name a few. So let's look at how AI is changing knowledge retrieval for the better. In short, AI is going to provide a significantly improved experience. Imagine, instead of using a search bar, employees could ask questions in natural language and get clear answers across every application, document and knowledge repository in the enterprise. And that's exactly what conversational search or generative AI based chatbots can bring. Leveraging AI in the form of conversational AI allows you to go beyond that traditional search experience by understanding the context and providing personalized responses and even anticipating or predicting information users might need. Conversational AI can interpret natural language queries and generate dynamic responses, offering a more interactive and tailored knowledge retrieval experience. Users can ask a variety of questions to the assistant, ranging from basic FAQ inquiries to much more complex queries that require data reasoning. And it optimizes knowledge retrieval by extracting data across multiple sources to service exactly what you're looking for. Also, importantly, it can also combine knowledge retrieval with actions and transactions. Similarly to how popular search techniques are used in Google, you search for a restaurant and right within the search result page, you can book a reservation or write a review. We'll see some of these examples during our demonstration that is coming up. In regards to the technology that's being used, Conversational AI is a term that is used to describe a range of machine learning and AI capabilities that enable the users to have a conversation with their data and systems. Natural language processing and natural language understanding, NLP and NLU respectively, have driven chatbot development for years, but with much more recent advances with large language models, this has enabled a much more dynamic and intelligent experience. Essentially, you have to be able to take any sort of colloquial, casual or cultural language and understand the user intent to deliver that meaningful response. In this example, Berkeley is asking for PTO. So let's touch on the technologies being used quickly to answer that question. 
intent recognition. So we need to identify that the information could potentially be in a time off management system. How much time has actually been taken? But also potentially, how much time are they actually allowed to take? Is that also a policy question? Classification and routing. And this helps determine that maybe there is no need to look for the answer in the sales portal or an IT help desk. And it suggests the most likely connected apps and knowledge bases to look for the answer. Entity extraction. This is the understanding that the query is about a person, in this case, Berkeley. An enterprise context. Well, which system is that? And how is Berkeley identified in that system? And RAG. This is retrieval augmented generation, and this can be a useful technique to extract a direct answer from multiple sources to the question versus providing that series of links and actions. And as briefly highlighted, it's much more than just providing information. But with AI, you can actually have a conversational AI that helps with complex queries that requires reasoning and allows the user to ask a question just as if they would in normal language. For example, if you were in engineering and you want to quickly see what tickets you're assigned to versus having to log into JIRA, you could simply say, what tickets are assigned to me? And the AI part assistant would understand who you are and your intent. And this will transform what we know as search today. Furthermore, it could perform tasks and take actions for users, which we will showcase in the upcoming demonstration. People deserve a better work experience. That is why WorkRate exists. Our mission is to make work simpler, more efficient and engaging. And we create conversational AI experiences to streamline processes, automate tasks and guide employees to the right resources and information wherever they work. Now let's see some of the concepts that I've talked about in action within the WorkRed AI Assistant. I'm showing on screen our web browser extension client and imagine a scenario that I've just returned from being out of the office attending a conference. Let's say hello and ask some questions. Firstly, let's ask some policy questions. How do I get reimbursed for work expenses? Within the platform, the following is happening. The query is analyzed using intent recognition and classification models and technologies to help narrow down where the answer might be across all of the connected sources and systems that I have access to within my WorkRate Assistant. As part of the agentic workflow, a variety of installed apps and features are assessed in real time to determine if they should be used to find the relevant information. This example has been identified as a potential knowledge base response, so the right component of the platform is leveraged. During retrieval, hybrid search is performed, and this means that both keyword and semantic searches are performed across the uploaded documents and connected knowledge sources such as ServiceNow or SharePoint. And once the results have been returned, re-ranking or reordering is performed based on the question and the possible responses returned. And the aim here is simply to remove irrelevant answers. For the answer generation piece, an answer is extracted from the context that we provide to the large language model and delivers an easy to read answer. And as you can see, links to the source of the answer is always provided. And this can be a single link like this example or multiple if the answer is combined from multiple sources. This is a good start, but I have additional questions on this topic. So I asked some further things. How do I put a claim in? And what is the per diem amount? These show an example of the power of conversational search, where the context of the conversation and the memory of previous question and answers have been maintained. Again, the responsors answers the question directly versus providing a series of links to click through. Now let's change the subject. I noticed I got a lot of spam emails recently and I'm wondering how to deal with that. So I asked for some assistance. What should I do with the spam? Once again, the query is being analyzed, but this time the knowledge has been found in the connected IT help desk service now knowledge base. And this knowledge connector leverages and improves upon the existing search API capabilities of ServiceNow by finding and then extracting an answer from multiple articles at once. And as you can imagine, this saves time as there's no need to click through multiple links to find that answer. So far, I've asked general company level questions, but let's look at some more personalized knowledge questions that return my data only and some more complex queries. How much did I get paid last week? What do I have on my schedule? 
as well as understanding that we need to leverage the connected my pay and my day apps to match the user's intent the key word to understand is i this is an example of entity extraction i refers to a person and that person is me enterprise context and identity is needed to map the word i to the correct user and id in the payroll and calendar systems respectively you may notice that both returned a text-based direct answer and a more informational card. And this provides a much easier consumption of information than plain chat on its own. Entity extraction and crafting more complex queries through conversation allows for a more refined questioning and answering experience than traditional search allows. When I ask, do I have any unread emails from Vince this week about AI? In reality, I am searching the Microsoft Graph for emails from Vince with a status of unread, with a received date within the range of this week, with a subject matter that contains the word AI. That's four entities in one sentence. The other example, do I have any JIRA tickets being worked on? And this example translates to two entities, assigned to Gillian McCann, and the status of in progress. What if I want to perform a task with some of the information that I have found? Based on the email I read from Vince and some learnings maybe from the AI conference I was at, I want to discuss our AI strategy in more detail. So I asked to draft an email on that subject. This is an example of an AI action that can be taken within the assistant. And this leverages a Gen AI large language model to create an initial email and store that in my draft folder in Microsoft Outlook. The aim here is to give a starting point for me to review, edit and amend before sending to Vince and others. And it provides for human in the loop flow versus autonomously sending it without oversight. As I was away, I need to catch up on what the product and engineering teams have completed while I was out of the office. So I ask, what has engineering been working on last week? This is not a simple question that can be answered quickly. It is really asking for an analysis and a summarization of information across different systems. In this example, the installed product and engineering agent knows that this information can be found in completed JIRA tickets and wiki contributions over the last week. As this is a longer running, more autonomous query, I receive a quick response while the platform searches for the required information um, and we'll see the results of that shortly. At the conference, I noticed I had a problem with the sound of my laptop. So let's ask for some assistance. Again, the user intent is understood and a variety of apps and features are being assessed in real time for their usefulness. Uh, and the suggested response here is to create an IET help desk ticket. Entity extraction is being performed on my query and is used to pre-populate the forms, the fields in the form. And as you can see, I can add additional detail and change the extractive fields as I need to. And this provides a quick way to perform an action in a transactional system such as ServiceNow or Zendesk without context switching outside the assistant to deliver that unified AI answer and AI actions experience. My last example is a multi-part question relating to holidays. This simple seeming question is using all the components of the worker platform to create an answer that combines company knowledge with personalized knowledge. It leverages intent recognition, classification, identic workflows, hybrid search and RAG, but ultimately no matter the technology, the ultimate goal should always be to answer the question correctly and contextually for that person. This is what WorkRed believes is the future of search. During that conversation, you may have noticed I received a notification, and this is my engineering report that I had asked for previously. As you can see, this has gathered information across JIRA and Wiki to create an overview that can be quickly read to catch up. To do this manually would have meant I had to log into two different systems and review individual tickets and pages. Now I have a general idea of the work that has been done and can dig into respective tickets or Wiki articles or ask follow-up questions as I deem necessary. What a time saver for me. Thanks for listening, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the, work, the walkthrough of the WorkGrid Assistant. 